Historically, mushrooms have been misunderstood. Even today, many people may think mushrooms are simply a subset of plant life. However, the truth is far more interesting. Being neither plants nor animals, fungi exist separate from the two kingdoms, but include aspects from both. Like plants, they are stationary organisms. They have root-like networks called mycelia, and mushrooms have fruiting portions which rise above the surface to spread spores, much like plants do with seeds. Unlike plants, however, they are completely incapable of photosynthesis, and instead rely on nutrition obtained from other life in the same way animals operate. The most iconic mushroom of all is the Amanita muscaria, a mushroom with large white spots on a red cap. In pop culture, it is the inspiration for the universally recognized power-up mushroom in the Mario games. In Europe, it has been used for centuries as a flytrap by simply seeping the mushroom in a bowl of milk. This is where the mushroom gets its colloquial names, fly agaric and fly amanita. Less known, but perhaps more interesting, are the psychotropic properties of the mushroom. Today, when someone thinks of mushrooms as a drug, they think of psilocybe cubensis, or magic mushrooms. Even though Amanita muscaria has a rich history of shamanic and recreational use of its psychoactive properties, it is different from magic mushrooms in the mechanism of action. Psilocybin, the primary drug in Psilocybe cubensis, acts on the serotonin system, targeting the same receptor as other well-known psychedelics such as LSD or DMT. Amanita muscaria acts primarily on the GABA system, the same system that alcohol targets. The pharmacology of the mushroom, however, is not perfectly understood, and the mushroom is known to cause hallucinations and entheogenic experiences. In prehistoric Siberia, the mushroom was the only inebriant available until the introduction of alcohol, being used both recreationally and spiritually. Common spiritual uses included communication with the dead, increasing a shaman's courage during a ceremony, visiting different worlds, and flight over earth. Because of the toxicity of the mushroom, in ancient Siberia it was common to first feed the mushroom to animals, and then drink their urine to get the psychoactive effects. In the 1940s, a Pazuric barrow was excavated and four figurines of stags with larger-than-life horns were found dated to the 5th century BCE. A possible interpretation of these enlarged antlers is that they've been given a wing-like quality, indicating flight of the reindeer. When taking Amanita muscaria, visions of flight and of flying animal spirits were common. In ancient Hindu religions, Soma is a ritual drink of great importance. The Rig Veda is a collection of Vedic Sanskrit hymns which were passed down orally for centuries before being put into writing. The ninth mandala of the book is entirely full of hymns dedicated to Soma, which is said to give immortality. In Vedic ideology, Indra drank Soma to prepare to fight the serpent Dima of Ritra. In this relief art, we see a Magian with a bowl of Halma, the Iranian equivalent of Soma. The exact identity of Soma is debated. However, it has been theorized to be Amanita muscaria by Western scholars. Throughout the Rig Veda, there is no mention of roots, seeds, or stems, suggesting a mushroom. There is also mention of urinating soma, which relates to the Siberian practice. The Sami are an indigenous people inhabiting northern parts of Norway, Finland, and Sweden. They have a rich shamanic history, which likely involved the use of Amanita muscaria. The first documentation of the people is in Historia Norwegae a text written by an anonymous monk in the 12th century as a short history of Norway. In its discussion of the Sami, it describes a drum covered in symbols of marine animals, boats, and reindeer. This drum would have been used in ritual practices, where Amanita muscaria may have been used to augment a trance achieved through rhythmic drumming. In Historia Norwegae, the author also describes a shaman healing a dead woman by turning his spirit into a whale, a vision which may be possible through the use of Amanita muscaria. Today, Amanita muscaria is the most recognizable mushroom on the planet, but at the same time many of its more interesting qualities are unknown. It's important to look at how cultures have used substances in the past to inform modern-day opinions and laws regarding mind-altering plants and drugs.